Dude, baby. Wow. That's gorgeous. What a day. Okay, guys, it's been a while since my last video. I, uh, I haven't taken my camera out for anything on my hands because uh, there just hasn't been much to show. Um, matter of fact, my zipper was like, uh, it had calcium built up on it. I had trouble getting the camera out of the case. Um, these are combined last, like, maybe three hunts. I got like three quarters, six dimes, two nickels, a row of cruddy pennies, maybe one or two copper ones in there. Um, some bottle caps, uh, fish and sinker, some like side stripping or something, copper, three swivels, uh, this one I got off of Silver Beach, saw that in the scoop and thought, oh good, we got a ring, but it's got this, uh, funky little doodad at the top, so not a ring, uh, a chain, copper, I got this in Pismo today, and thought it was junk, but and it still might be the, there's no markings on it I think the marking probably would have been on the earring cookie part that goes in your ear I haven't foil tested it yet but I'd say probably that or the squish penny with the skull and crossbones it says uh, Pismo Beach California is probably the best of it um, so yeah at the end of this video I'm going to put some pictures of um, uh, Tempest Fugit 64 he makes these way cool uh, you know, finds tins out of tobacco containers, and I decided to give it a whirl and try to make them myself. And I've made three now. I made one for myself. I made one for 805 Dig Dug, and I'm working on one for um, Digging Up Cali. That is really super cool. So I'll show you guys those at the end of the video. And um, I, I guess there's been treasure been found. Uh, uh, Digging Up Cali's uh, Uncle John. Uh, he has a bounty hunter. And he was hunting in Pismo last Tuesday, and he pulled up a nice men's gold ring with uh, six real diamonds in it. Um, and then somewhere in North County at some school, I guess he dug a, a um, 10 karat uh, gold watch. I don't have any pictures of those. I think uh, Josh might show in one of his videos uh, what his uncle found. But um, uh, I guess he, his, he had it tuned so that it wouldn't pick up nickels. And Josh found out about it and, and dialed it in so it would pick up nickels. And then right after that, he just started pulling gold like crazy. So I guess it really doesn't matter what kind of detector you've got. And he's been pulling some really nice finds. Um, been pretty slow around here. All the beaches that we've been hitting uh, are sanded in. And I've been avoiding Pismo. I went down there today, and the, that's when I got the earring today. A gentleman came running up to me, and he said he had... Uh, thought he had lost his uh, wedding ring so I gritted the whole area out and I said well if it's here I'll find it and uh, I didn't find it so he thinks maybe he might have left it at home or something so I told him that most of the guys are really good around here if he posted on missing on Craigslist or that he lost it if one of the guys finds it more than likely they'll return it to him because they're all a good bunch of guys so anyways that's about all I got to show you so stick around to the end there and uh, um, yeah, check out the, the boxes that I make. They're not as good as Tempest Fuse at 64s, but um, they came out pretty good for first attempts, I think. Alright guys, take care. Best of luck out there. Catch you next video. Have a great week. Oh, I thought I'd throw these in. A couple a couple videos ago, I found this key. and Someone suggested it might have been a Ford key. Oh, about, uh, I don't know, maybe a week or so later, I found the matching key. Same beach, same cut in the key. Except this one, you can read the writing on the back. It says CAS, C A S, Key, um, Dupree. So I have no idea what that is. I'm hoping it's not like a casket key or something like that. That would be weird. But odd to find two identical cut keys of the same style on the same beach. Um, plus, found this also on the same beach they used to swivel at one point in time uh, some kind of buckle to something I've never seen one like that before so if anybody knows what that is uh, it would be cool to find out like I said these swivel at one point in time this center one still does but this one these these two on the sides are locked 
I was thinking maybe like a guitar strap or something. I don't know. But it's probably the funkiest buckle I've ever found. Alright guys, so yeah, stick around for the, uh, the fine stins that I, I've been working on. Tell me what you think. Alright guys, take care. Best of luck. Happy hunting. Okay guys, here's the boxes I made after I was inspired by Tempest Fugit 64. This is the first one I did. It's got the first uh, silver coin I dug, which is the uh, Australian sixpence. Uh, uh, the, the lines aren't perfect, but came out pretty good. Lines were a little off right there. Went pretty simple on the edges. The bottom I did a basket weave like he did. Uh, came out pretty good. So that's mine. And this is the one I made for 805 Dig Dug. It came out pretty good. It's got a Celtic cross that he found last year. And it had a loop for the pendant on the top, so I just thinned out the the matches and laid them over the top so I didn't have to damage the the pendant. There's the sides. And you probably put a couple more coats on his his lacquer isn't as thick as mine. They're made out of uh, Altoids mint containers. I did the basket weave on the bottom of his, but I did more squares. And they're a little off on the... Like that side's bigger than this side. But it still came out pretty good. And he was happy with it. And this is the third one that I did. That's the California state flag. I tried drawing it out by hand, but uh, my uh, bear came out looking like this. I don't know, funky sloth animals. So I printed out a picture and shrunk it down to size and then glued it over the top and then just sticked around it. It came out pretty pretty good, I think. Um, not done with it yet. He's got to find something for me to put on the top. Did a kind of brickwork on the sides. And I still have to do the top. But they came out pretty good. So thank you Tempest Fugit 64 for inspiring me to give this a go. Uh, it's fun. Very time consuming. But if you got time to kill it's a, it's a fun project. Alright guys take care. Best of luck. Happy hunting.